wild caught salmon. Um, that piece, this was that piece before. I did take the skin off of that and all I did was take a paring knife, pull it up, cut it, pull it, cut it, pull it, and it's and you don't have to do that if you're grilling it or you're baking it. When, you're, when we're going to roll it in crumbs, you don't want the skin on the one side. So you do want to take the skin off. off. Otherwise, you can just leave it on. You know, like I said, if you're going to be um, grilling it or you're going to be baking it, where you don't have to uh, worry about both sides, then um, you can leave it on. OK, I just thought for something different. David Light on the radio thought we were going to do a fish dessert. And I said, well. <laughs> No, we won't. Okay, matzah is just crackers. These I got the lightly salted one. You find these in aisle five, next to the German food. It's actually a Jewish tradition. It's basically unleavened bread. Okay, we're gonna use a piece and a half. So if you, you can eat it. Yeah, you could use saltines if you wanted. You know, this. Yeah, it, I mean, well, no, no, because this isn't, this isn't like, no, this isn't um, communion, no. You could, you know, during Passover you could use it, but, you know. So, you know, you just, like I said, it's just basically crackers. If you'd like to taste a piece when the class is over, we can do that. So we're just going to break it up. We're going to put some fresh dill in. did get the fresh and because we're putting in the food processor we don't have to worry too much about the great big or the little stalks I like to take the big ones off and I love dill so you can add as much as you want it says uh, what two tablespoons of fresh if you're using dried I'm not going to use as much That's pretty good. Okay. So we've got our dill, and that does smell like dill. I love that. Well, it's one of my favorite herbs. Okay. And we're going to put a little salt and pepper in here. Use the salt. Uh, maybe not. Almost like a little popcorn popper, huh? Okay, we'll throw that in there. Whoops. Okay, and we just want to put that on a dish. This is where I use a ton of paper plates for stuff like this. And if you if you don't have a food processor, you could you chop up the the dill and. Just put it all in a paper or a plastic bag and hit it with a rolling pin or hammer, whatever. Okay. We're going to get that ready. We're going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on it when we get it in the pan. And I've got a pan here. And I'm going to put um, this and the catfish on the same pan. So we'll just put it on half. Okay. I just I did um, follow the directions and I did w wash this and pat it down with um, towel paper towels, and that's just to kind of refresh it a little bit. Um, it doesn't, you know, fish. They say it doesn't smell fishy. Well, if you would take, if you would get this from the seafood department and they do a wonderful job keeping the fish fresh and on ice and all that, and you would take it home and you'd open the bag, you go, ooh, that smells like fish. Well, that's like all the water and stuff that's in it. So what you do is you just take it out of the bag, rinse it off, put on paper towels, dry it, and it doesn't smell like fish anymore. It doesn't have that fishy smell. And did I tell you how much this was a pound? This was a really good price. This is on sale right now for $3.99 a pound. So that's a really, yeah, regularly $7.99. So that is really a good deal. 
And this is what they say, the um, wild caught product of the USA. Because on the, in the seafood um, departments, and I think this is industry wide, there are government regulations that you've got to put on all the fish, the country of origin. So I think it's rather confusing myself. Oh, we're gonna dribble the oil on here. That's three tablespoons for four pieces. So any questions that you have like that, um, if you want to talk to them down the seafood department, they'd be more than happy to explain anything to you and help you with your choices or whatever. Oops, same thing, our salmon is good. If you can stick a fork in, flake that, that's good. That's done. Crusted salmon. 